Hello my fellow YouTubers, YouTubees, YouTubettes, welcome to Imperial Nerds and you are watching an Imperial box unboxing of boxes of Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty Box. Now this box isn't that impressive, uh, everybody knows the spoiler, that's what's inside. The rest of the stuff I actually did watch a spoiler video, I just couldn't resist, I couldn't help myself and I watched it yesterday, I was like I can't wait, I had to wait just one more day. But anyway, uh, and I'm very, very, very uh, not impressed with this box. To me, the box, the, the other contents in the box are lame. But let's get to them. Uh, by the way, I will be giving away a digital code for a movie uh, on this video. So, boom! If you want this uh, digital code for uh, the Magnificent Seven, stay tuned to the end of the video. Uh, I have a little story about why I got two of these. I want to share with you, and I'm going to give you one of the digital codes. And during that story, so if you want that code, stay tuned. If not, then uh, once I'm done unboxing, then adios. See you. Uh, hopefully, you had a great weekend, week, or whatever. And as you saw before this video, I actually uh, posted a few more uh, unboxings or whatever. I don't even know what exactly what I did, to be honest. But those videos, uh, I think, do have digital codes as well. So if you want some uh, digital movie codes, check out the past videos because uh, there's some in there. Uh, all right, let's get to this box. And of course, as you know, with these Funkos, Funko boxes, you always get a pop and a pin, a pin and a patch. I mean, a patch and a pin, a pin and a patch, a patch and a pin. This time, you got the awesome uh, Lando Cardishian, something like that. With Lando, you can see, pretty cool. You can't, you can't see a detail too much through the camera, but you know, he got a little mustache going on there. Of course, his little stash beautiful uh, by the way uh, I, the only reason why I got this box is because of the pop to be honest I, I'm really done with Funko boxes to me they're very predictable they're boring and uh, I haven't been impressed with the pops they've been putting in there lately here goes the patch uh, Yoda the Empire Strikes Back and me like I, like I always say they count these as items I guess or whatever but like I, I could care less about a patch and a pen. These will be going inside of a box. And whenever I get to a certain amount of subscribers, I will be giving that box away with all the patches, all the pens that I get, whatever other stuff that I don't want. So definitely subscribe if you haven't. I will be giving away all the stuff that I hate because I hate patches. I hate pens. I think it's just it's just fluff added to the box for no purpose whatsoever. Try to just to say, hey, there's five items in there. Nah, whatever. So... Let's see the other stuff besides what we already know is inside. And this is one of them. And I did see a video for it. And I was like, this is so lame. And maybe you like plushes. That's fine. Uh, I hate plushes. They're hard to uh, display. They, you know what I mean? They're hard to display. And they're just dust collectors, man. Like plushes are dust collectors. They just collect so much dust. They're hard to keep clean. You know? So I, I don't like them. I don't like plushes. You know, to me, uh, they don't look cool. It's just a ball of fluff. So, yeah, uh, this is supposed to be what? A, 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 a wampa? Or whatever it is called. I forgot the creature's name. No, it's not a wampa, is it? No, no, no. But uh, whatever, you know what it is. It's definitely really soft. But the thing is also, another thing about uh, plushes, I'm allergic to hairs. I don't know why, but anything that's fluffy and hairy, I'm allergic to it. My nose starts itching and all kinds of stuff starts going crazy. All right, the next item they added to the box is socks because, you know, Grandma loves you uh, wearing nice socks. So they gave you these uh, horrible, horrendous-looking socks. And again, I don't need socks. I have socks. I don't need to get an ugly pair of socks. Look at that. It looks almost like an Atari version of Star Wars. Like they, all, they look all squashed, and I'm just saying these socks are ugly. You know, and I mean, I'll wear them because they're new socks, right? Everybody needs a new pair of clean socks. I mean, I got a bunch of clean brand new socks, but hey, you know, if I ever need some black ones with white, I got me a pair of socks. So whatever, but I, I don't like these socks. Uh, I don't, I hope they don't keep adding more socks to that. That's something that your grandma will give you for Christmas or your birthday. And that's it, guys. Look, that's about it. They added to the box. Besides the pop, 
Uh, you get the basic boring patch and a pin, a horrible looking plush, and some grandma ugly looking socks. So that's disappointing. So the pop is the only reason why I got the box, and I guess uh, for the price, you know, it's thirty-two dollars with shipping and all that good stuff. Thirty-two bucks, at least for me. So you gotta figure to yourself: is, is you know, is it worth it for you? Because for me, I don't think it's worth it. I probably would have bought this pop on on eBay instead, and saved me the trouble of having something to do with those plushes and horrible patch and pins but the pop itself is awesome so because of the pop you know i saved the box because this probably to me is one of the best pops they ever made funko in general it comes with an awesome little stand as you can see you know little pegs that you just pop them in there and he just looks awesome uh han solo is a bobblehead so he'll bobble his head he does not come out of his uh ride so that's a little disappointing, but of course, how can you really take them out unless they put articulation in the legs? And of course, pops don't do that, so whatever there. Uh, the monster, the creature itself, uh, his, his head does not bobble, which I was a little surprised that they didn't put a little bobble on the head since, you know, they're pretty much the same pop, so why not put a little bobble on both of them? But he does not have uh, bobbles, bobbling. But the pop itself, man, is awesome. I have to say, man, for me... Being a Star Wars fan, I love, love Star Wars. You know, I, I know this scene. I love this scene. It's a beautiful, beautiful pop. And like I said, for me, especially uh, being a Star Wars fan, uh, it has to be uh, my favorite right now. So this right now is my favorite pop. And the one that uh, used to be my favorite is the Elvira. I got the Elvira exclusive from Funko.com, which I love that pop. I love Elvira. I grew up watching her movies and having a crush on the Mistress of the Dark. Uh, so, but this one's definitely going to take the, its place as the number my, my favorite number one pop. So, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. You know? So, I am not going to take them out of the box. I mean, there's tons of people already doing it. So, if you want to see that, you're probably going to watch more unboxing videos and they'll take it out. I'm an inbox collector. I know some people are like, ah, let them breathe. But I like them to be pristine. I don't like them to get dirty or, or scratched up. So, I like them inside the box. And it's better to stack them up and display them. So yeah, that's it guys. What do you think about this month's Marvel Collector Court box? Some raggedy looking dollar store socks, a raggedy looking plush that probably could sell, probably could sell in the dollar store, a patch, and a pen. I know I saw people saying uh, the pop by itself is worth the money, the rest is just free. But, eh. you know, and then another thing is I hate that they, they're starting to spoil it. You know, uh, people say, oh, they're not mystery boxes. They're collector boxes. They're not mystery. They never said they were mystery boxes. But come on, be honest. They're jumping into the mystery box subscription bandwagon, right? That's what they're doing. That's what they did, right? And that's why they, they, they say, uh, the spoilers, don't watch this video because they know they're trying to give you a mystery, a surprise. And now it's like, supposedly, I don't know, that's what I heard somewhere, that their sales are not doing so great. So now they're trying to get you to buy the box by showing you a great pop inside. Like, no, no, I got to buy the box. Like they did with the last box. The next box coming out is Darth Maul. Now, I, I want a Darth Maul. I need a Darth Maul for my collection. I don't have one. I don't want the regular Darth Maul. I want a really nice one. And this one looks awesome. Especially since it's from Rebels. And I love Clone Wars. I love Rebels. So, I want that pop big time. But, do I want to pay the 32 bucks for it? I don't think so. I think I would just rather wait. Buy it on eBay for like 20 25 bucks, Save me a few bucks. Because I don't want the other fluff. It's either gonna be a, a hat or a shirt. I could deal with. I could deal with not having that unless there's another pop in there that that might hurt me. My oh, I could have had both of them. But anyway, the pop is awesome. Love it. The box itself is very disappointing for thirty two bucks. You know, you get some cheap socks that you could buy in the dollar store, and I know, yeah, oh, they're not uh, official socks. Like so, what? Dollar store. I have tons of dollar stores where I live at. I've seen socks better than this at the dollar store. They're socks. Just because they're official Funko socks or whatever Star Wars socks doesn't make them any more better. They're just regular fabric with Star Wars. It's their socks. Their socks. There's nothing special about them. Now, if it's a shirt, the shirts are different because shirts are thicker, nicer. But even though uh, Funko has been using some really cheap shirts lately. And this, this thing is horrible. It's hideous. Look at that. Ain't no kid going to want this. It's going to have nightmares. <laughs> I have, I have, I have a plush right here next to me. 
This I bought a long time ago. That's probably the only plush that I actually did buy, Gizmo. And as you can see, the white is almost yellowing because how old he is. I don't know how to wash him. I don't know if I should just throw him in the uh, washing machine or something but, or, or to ruin it. But anyway, that's it for that, guys. Thank you for watching. If you want to watch now, if you want to stay tuned for the movie, you get a free uh, digital code. All right. Hopefully you stayed. Hey, hi, guys. You stayed to watch the rest of the video. So anyway, uh, for Christmas, I got myself a uh, Xbox One S so I could play 4K movies. I bought myself a 4K TV. So I've been starting to buy 4K movies. I had to tell you guys, after buying a few 4K movies, it's not really that impressive. I, I thought it would be a lot nicer looking, a lot tighter, a lot brighter, a lot crispier. It's not that amazing, to be honest. Eh, I, I could have dealt with it. I, I could have saved hundreds of dollars by you know, not going for the 4K bandwagon, but I did. Oh, well, it's too late now. At least I got an Xbox now because I, I sold my Xbox before. So at least now I have another Xbox and I can play games again. I've been starting to play games again. But anyway, I went to Walmart. I bought me this from Walmart uh, online on the intern web, and I ordered it, and it never came. It never came. It was like two weeks. Supposed to came was coming like within a week. Never came. I contacted Walmart. I said, "Listen, buddy, uh, where's my movie?" They checked the tracking record. They said it vanished. They didn't know what to do, so they sent me a replacement. Boom, replacement. So then came this movie. Uh, and then I waited for about another two weeks. They didn't come again. I contacted Walmart. I said, hey, where's this replacement movie? Uh, we're checking the tracking, and apparently they lost that one as well. I'm like, are you serious? Like, come on. I, 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 listen, by the way, I've ordered the shipping pass program, uh, you know, the two-day shipping pass. They're trying to compete with Amazon Prime. And I tried the, the trial, and it's horrible. You do not get movies. Uh, you, well, you don't got to get any. I, I lost, they, they lost about four of my orders. A bunch of my orders came later than they were supposed to. And then they lost this one. Then they lost this one. So then I contacted them and said, yo, where's my second one? They lost it. We could send you another one. Like, listen, that, that was the replacement. So now you're going to send me a replacement for the replacement? No, 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 no. Give me my money back. So they gave me my money back. And then about two weeks later, boom, they both showed up at my door. So it took a, about a month and two weeks, a month and a half. And both of them just finally just showed up at my door. So I'm like, what? Awesome. So I did open one. One of them is still brand new. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. Maybe I'll you know, save it for later on. Like I said, once I get to a certain amount of subscribers, I'll have giveaways of movies, of games, of pops, of toys, whatever. So definitely share with your friends, guys. I'm trying to get to a certain amount of subscribers. Once I get to that certain amount of subscribers, I'll put out more content. I'll do more giveaways. But I'm just letting the channel just grow organically. You know, and I'm not trying to pimp myself out. I'm not trying to you know, tell people to, to join on us. I want to just let it grow on its own. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But that's how I've always done it on YouTube. And uh, I'll give out more stuff. So maybe I'll save this one for a giveaway in the future. I don't know. But for now, I do have this one. And the reason why I got this one in 4K is because I love this movie. I mean, Denzel Washington, Denzel Washington is awesome. Of course, you know, Chris Pratt is awesome. And then the rest of the cast is just awesome in this movie. You know, Ethan Hawke that's so great uh this is just a, a badass movie i love this one so much so i had to get it on 4k uh the 4k quality really didn't impress me to be honest it was kind of dark and stuff this movie is a little dark but boom i got it anyway 4k so now i got two 4k movies and if you have 4k and if you know a movie that is very really impressive in 4k definitely comment below let me know what you think is the best 4k to watch right now i have this one and i have star trek uh, the newest Star Trek. I do know. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, Suicide Squad is also blue uh, 4K. So I don't know if that one would look nice. Maybe a movie like Avatar would look great in 4K. But anyway, let's open it up. Get the digital code out. Give it to you guys because I know you guys want that. You like shut up already? Jeez, you talk too much. And yes, I talk too much. But hey, not every channel is going to be the same, right? Some people talk more than others. But anyway, that's what the Blu-ray looks like. I do have Jurassic World here because I have the movie in the. In the xbox right now all right sorry about the edit i actually was giving out the wrong code i was giving out this code here for some kind of uh deal thinking it was the uh digital code but the digital code is on the other side boom there we go that's the digital code there so uh definitely guys if you use the code if you redeem it please comment below so people don't waste their time trying to redeem it uh let the camera focus come on focus camera and there you go pause it use it enjoy it 
and have fun. This is a great movie. I love this movie. All right. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching the video. Definitely comment, share, subscribe, send your friends over here. I'll try to do more videos. There was a bunch of videos that I just posted before this one. Some of those have digital codes for movies as well. So definitely go there and check those videos out. And I'll see you guys next time.